Hello everybody. Today we are going to solve a problem from Fundamentals of Electric Circuits by Alexander and Sedicus 5th edition. This is from second chapter and the problem number is 2.53. So in this we are asked to find the equivalent resistance or AB in each of the circuits. First we will try the second one that is the B problem and here it is given all the resistors have a value of 30 ohms. Okay, let's get started. So, this is our problem. This is the circuit diagram given. And in this, we need to consider two things. The first one is, we have a diamond shape with the resistor in between two terminals like this. See, this, this makes a diamond shape. And here, one resistor is there in between these two terminals. So, it appears to be some Wheatstone's bridge. But actually, it is not a Wheatstone bridge. These two terminals are again being connected with this two resistors so it's not a weak stone bridge at all and the second concept is so we have to find the resistance between these two terminals okay so when you look into these terminals we are not having a very simple circuit it is somewhat complicated circuit and here we have some delta format isn't it so some delta structure is there in which you have this type of resistance is present here so how many delta circuits are there if we number them see okay this can be taken as a and this terminal is b and i'm going to number this as one and this is two and this is three and this is four okay so in this we have this a two one makes one delta definitely and then when you consider this one two 1, 2, 4. It's also making a delta. And when you consider this case, 1, 4, 6. It's also making a delta. Now you consider one more thing that is 2, 3, 4. But it is not at all making a delta. Why? Why we say so? So this is making a delta. This is making a delta. But this is not making a delta network. Why? If you want to consider something as a delta network, on that case, it should be something like this. You should have 3 ohms with resistances present in that ohms. And then these junction points, suppose if we number them as 1, 2, 3. They should be connected to some other branch, something like this. So this is R1, this is R2 and R3. They form the delta network. If this Junction points or nodes 1, 2, 3, they must be individually connected to some other branches. If they are not connected, suppose this second, second node is not connected with any other branch, then it is not forming a delta network. The similar cases here with our problem, see check this. So, this is, if you take this as R1, this is R2 and this is R3. For the first case, I said that it is a delta network because in this case, this is the junction point in which this is connected to the A terminal and this is another junction or the node in which these two are being connected and this is another node in which these two branches are connected, isn't it? So this definitely forms a delta. Now coming over to this, suppose this is 1, this is 2, this is 4. I told you that this is also forming a delta network because at this node or junction point, this is one delta I told you, right? Along with the resistance is present in that particular arms. So this is a delta network. So other than this branch, you have two more branches, isn't it? Here for this, this is one branch, this is another branch. Similarly, if you consider here for this, here you have one more branch, one more branch being connected here also. Two branches are being connected. That's why this is also a delta network. And one more delta network we have, that's what I told you. So this one, this arm and this arm along with the resistances, they make another delta network. Here you have this first node being connected with two more branches and this is connected with these two branches this node okay 
So this is also forming a delta network. Then what about this? We check this also, right? So this is your arm and we need to check this, whether this forms a delta network or not. The second node, we have two more branches connected with this fourth node also two more branches connected but what about this third node it doesn't have any other extra branches connected that's why it is not coming under this delta network okay right now we move on to the next step what is it so now we start reducing this circuit and we want to find out the equivalent so i consider these two we start from this these two are actually series resistances. How do you say that they are series resistances? Because they have the common limbs. Their remaining arms are connected to other branches. Okay. So these two are series. So this 30 and this 30 makes the series means the equivalent is 30 plus 30. So it is 61. So we have to remove this 30 and 30 and replace it with the 60 ohm equivalent resistance. So we'll get this circuit now. Now when you consider this, this 60 ohm resistance and this 30 ohm resistance are connected in parallel because both the arms are here connected. Here also both the arms are connected on two sides. They have common connection. So it is a parallel connection. So when you have a parallel connection, how do you actually compute the equivalent value? So how we calculated it is 1 by 30 plus 1 by 60 okay the inverse that gives you your equivalent value for the parallel combination so that is equal to if you take 60 common then here it is 2 plus 1 the inverse so it is 3 by 60 inverse that means 1 by 20 inverse or we can write it as 20 isn't it so we can replace this particular combination by a 20 ohm resistance so that we'll get the circuit like this now so in this case now we are going to consider this delta network and for this delta network we are going to find the equivalent value okay so replacing this 30 30 13 by its equivalent value actually when you want to uh, simplify this circuit delta to star conversion that would make the circuit simple so if you have a delta circuit like this on that case the equivalent star is like this it comes like this okay so suppose this is ra this is rb and this is rc we used to write this as r1 this is r2 and r3 R A, R B and R C, they are the resistances at the arms of the delta network. We want to convert the delta to star so that we will get R1, R2, R3 resistances. So what is R1 value? This, if you consider this R1 resistance, so it is being connected with actually the, this arm. This arm is connected to this R A and R B. So you have to write this as R A or B divided by the total value of this three resistances R A or B is R C. So what is the value of this R A and R B here in our problem? It is 30, right? Okay. So 30 into 30 divided by 30 plus 30 plus 30. That's the calculation for us. So it is 90. So and cancel out so we'll get this as 10 ohms similarly for r2 if you want to calculate r2 being connected with this rb and rc so that you have to write the formula as rb rc divided by the total resistance or a plus rb plus rc since we have the equal values at all the ohms we'll get 10 ohms for here also here also you'll be getting 10 ohms same calculation same type of calculation so this circuit should be removed or replaced and then we can incorporate this how it is with this neutral point like this okay so this is 10 ohms this is 10 ohms and this is also 10 ohms so we get the circuit like this now if you check this here we have this 10 ohm resistance and this 20 ohm resistance they are in series so simply you can 
add them both so 10 plus 20 that means it is 30 ohms so you have you can replace this by a single resistance of 30 ohms so you can replace this by a single resistance of 30 ohms now you consider this this is again a delta network so 30 ohm 30 ohm 30 ohm present here so that should be actually replaced by another one here you can form this y or star isn't it so you can form a star here so since 30 30 30 already we have found this value as 10 ohms 10 ohms and 10 ohms so replace this by this circuit like this 10 10 10 then you have the circuit right so now if you consider this this 10 ohm and this 10 ohm these are in series so what's its equivalent it can be replaced by a 20 ohm resistor and one more thing you can observe now this 10 ohm and this 30 ohm that becomes again series resistances so it's equivalent is 40 ohm so the simplified circuit is here like this this is 20 ohms this is 40 ohms here you have this 10 ohms and the 10 ohms so when you look at this this 20 ohm and this 40 ohm that makes parallel combination isn't it so we can find out the parallel equivalent value for this so it is 1 by 20 plus 1 by 40 the whole inverse that gives you the parallel equivalent value so 40 is taken common so it is 2 plus 1 the inverse you can write it as 40 by 3 that is equal to 13.33 ohms these two resistances can be replaced by a single resistance of 13.33 so this is what we have now so now you look at so this 10 ohm this 13.33 and then this 10 ohms these three are in series so series means just you add these three resistances so 10 plus 10 plus 13.33 that gives you 33.33 ohms so that is the equivalent or RAB between this A and B terminals. So we got the answer. Thank you. Hope you have understood the concept.